Yo, what is up, guys? So we are back with episode three and four. We're gonna start uh, putting them out longer episodes, guys. Hope y'all don't mind that. River Run, does it always show us that? That's not new, is it? Yeah, I remember that thing being on fire. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. No one's currently even there, right? You know, there's no way they left the entire wall. Well, no, there. Meister Eamon's there, probably. Yeah, he's too old. Yeah, he's not going up out there on the wall. The Gulf of Greek. I wonder if she's going to buy the men. That crazy statue. I don't know what's up with that. I know. Like, what, what oh, yeah, position forgot, is yeah. that? <laughs> what are they standing like that for? A lot of you guys are saying that this is where the show really takes off. That's the grandpa. Yeah, the Damn. Tully flag. Is she bound by shackles right now? Nope. Nope. She said menacles. <laughs> Whatever that is. I just took it for shackles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, man. I was just about to say I was impressed. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. If someone's got a cough. <laughs> That bow doesn't have enough draw to it. When do you switch um, archers? You need a stronger bow at this point. He had it cocked all the way back. You, dude, you got to do it this time, man. <laughs> this, is, this is dude's funeral, man. <laughs> this man studied the wind. <laughs> mm. He said curry. He even walked off. That's what I'm saying was so gracious not to hit the body. And you know what else? The boat was making a turn. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this man. He had him on a skinny post, 45 yards deep. Well, no, that was like 75. Wow. Look, touch him. I encountered a situation with one of my lieutenants at the stone mill, which may have some bearing Why upon you. you shut your mouth about that damn mill? I don't call him nephew. He's your king. I wouldn't let you wave your blunders around like a victory flag. My blunder? Sent Tywin's mad dog scurrying back to Casterly Rock with his tail between his legs. I think King Rob understands we're not going to win this war if he's the only one winning any battles. Now, there's glory enough to go around. It's not about glory. Your instructions were to wait for him to come to you. We took the fight to him. He could not withstand it. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west, into our country where we could surround him and kill him. I wanted him to chase us. I could have that head on a spike by now. It's called strategy, bro. <laughs> Instead, I have a mill. That's his uncle. We took hostages. Willem Lannister, Martin Lannister. Willem and Martin Lannister are 14 years old. Martin is 15, I believe. <laughs> he kidnapped kids. Tywin Lannister has my sisters. Have I sued for peace? No. You think he'll sue for peace because we have his father's brother's great grandsons? <laughs> no. How many men did you lose? 208. But for every man we lost, the Lannisters. We lost. need our men more than Tywin needs his! I didn't know. You would have. Right here today at this gathering, if you had been patient. Dang, two bees. When I'd mess up, I'd always be like, I thought, I thought, my dad would always say, good thing I don't pay you to think. <laughs> but he did that to his uncle. <laughs> There's the G, Tywin. He's like, great squad I have, boo. This man don't even have to talk. She is one of a kind. Tyrion, go ahead and pick it on up, boy. Sit at the other end of the table, Tyrion. Move it right in front of him. Someone help him out. That's the only power move left to be made, so that's how I knew who was going to do that. <laughs> I love it, though. 20,000 unwashed northerners have known about his escape for weeks. We are trying, my lord. Try harder. Rob Stark and most of his banner men are in River Run for the funeral of his grandfather, Lord Hostetali. In Stark's absence, Roose Bolton holds Harrenhal, which would seem to make him Lord of Harrenhal. The name suits our purposes far more than that useless pile of rubble. The Lord of Harrenhal will make a worthy suitor for the Widow Arryn. For which I am extremely grateful to you. You'll leave for the Eyrie as soon as possible and bring Lysa Arryn into the fold. And the young wolf can have his own arms. Oh, and they're the marrying Baelish off. Taking up mm -hmm. arms against him. That's the next step. They gave him land, right? Mm-hmm. The royal wedding may end up being the most expensive of 
prevent a living memory. Not a good time to leave the Crown's finances unattended. Fully agreed, which is why I'm naming you new master of coin. I'm quite good at spending money, but a <laughs> lifetime of outrageous wealth hasn't taught me much about managing it. <laughs> no doubt you will prove equal to this challenge. <laughs> Her ego is more important than the realm to her. And roared and smelt her there. She kicked and wailed. Made so fair from there to here, from here to there. I would be so annoyed. <laughs> Especially if we don't know the song. That's not even catchy. All my life I've been hearing Jamie Lannister. What a brilliant swordsman. He was slower than I expected. <laughs> and more predictable. I've been sitting in a muddy pen wrapped in chains for the past year. A year. God dang. <laughs> and he's still chipper. <laughs> when we make camp tonight, you'll be raped. All these fellows have ever been with a noble woman. If you fight them, they will kill you. Do you understand? Let them have what they want. What does it matter? What does it matter? Just close your eyes. Pretend they're Renly. <laughs> <laughs> By the proper forge, I can make it good as new. Doesn't have to look pretty. Look at his man bun. <laughs> Why are you helping him? He takes his prisoner, and now he's our friend. You're not our prisoner, little lady. What am I? I guess. So they can walk. So I can walk away then. <laughs> Woods on safe for Ned Stark's daughter. You're lucky we found you. Coward's weapon. I like to fight up close. <laughs> Coward's weapon. I like to see a man's face when I put the steel in. Why? So you can kiss him. <laughs> Apologies, but you're one ugly fucker and I'd rather not see you no more. Oh. They're getting rid of him? Oh. oh. I don't know what they're doing with them. Are oh, they shipping him off somewhere? We're about to leave. I'm staying. You're what? I baked some brown bread for the innkeep. And she said she never had better. Told Thoros she's keeping me as a payment for all the free meals she's given him. Not me, the brotherhood wants. My brother ain't no king. I'm not Stark of Winter Hell. Winter Fell. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> oh, I made you something. Aww. Oh, it's a wolf. Was that a wolf out of bread? What is it? It's a wolf. That's so sweet. Yes, it is. Be safe. Yeah, you too. Don't get stabbed. Aww. I'm gonna you miss him. Burn your fingers. <laughs> 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 Awkward. <laughs> Don't burn your fingers, hot pie. Goodbye, hot pie. Oh. Goodbye, Harry. Y'all's friendship got so much better. I'm not even gonna lie. I never thought that like he was gonna stick around this long. I thought yeah. he was a side B character in and out. Right. I thought she was gonna kill him. And he just made me about cry baking her that bread. That's so sweet. Hey, hot pie. It's really good. Next time she sees him, he's going to be like 280 pounds. <laughs> I don't know. It often comforts me to think that even in war's darkest days, in most places in the world, absolutely nothing is happening. I've missed you, Uncle. Father missed you too. Maybe he never said it in so many words. Maybe. Your father was a stubborn old ox. I was surprised when he died. I didn't think death had the patience. Glad you were with him. I wish to the gods I had been. After 30 years of fighting, I don't think he remembered what started it. He asked me to stop calling myself Blackfish. <laughs> I said it was an old joke. People have been calling me Blackfish for so long, they don't remember my real name. Well, what is it? Every time he would leave for the capital or fight in a campaign, I'd see him off. Wait for me, little cat, he'd say. What a nice balcony. Come back, Dean, and I would sit at this window every day when the sun came up waiting. I wonder how many times did Bran or Rickon stare across the moors of winter waiting for me to return oh i will never see them again oh she thinks they're dead oh man they just have no idea where anyone is really they have no confirmation yeah God believes they're alive he's got to remain strong if he's to prevail and you must remain strong for him good advice on man i could see her just falling apart because she's got a lot going on but she's strong yeah twice. is it true what they say about him i don't know what do they say about him he can turn into a wolf at night and he eats the flesh of his enemies. <laughs> what? You're a Lannister, aren't you? Martin Lannister. Both of them are. You've nothing to fear. My husband doesn't eat children. Unless it's a full moon. <laughs> it's not a full moon tonight, is it? See? Nothing to fear. Always the artists. Like the pilot episode. Oh, Remember? where they did those designs. Right. So they picked a bunch of horses this time. A swirly? Whoa, that looks like a galaxy. I thought there was dead crows. It was. How many men were here? About 300. You don't go far betting against Mormons, but dead or alive. He took a big gamble coming north. And whether he's Lord Commander of the Night's Watch or a blue eyed corpse, he's a long way from home. Man, so John thinks everyone's dead that he knows. Take this one. He knows Castle Black's defenses better than any of us. If he's useful, good. If not, throw him off the wall. See if crows can fly. Mm mm, they can't. <laughs> I always see a signal. Send your eagle above the wall every night. When it's time, I'm going to light the biggest fire the North has ever seen. 
let's go. Man, that wind <laughs> would kill me out there in that in that cold. Yeah. I'm glad I don't have to do it. I've been trying to get south so fast. I would have been south yesterday. It's so grim. Are they at the place where they were given the White Walkers? Oh, Crossers? Yeah. Ghost? He's like, shh, don't give away my position, bro. What have we here? Frozen crows, smaller flock than he went north with. We can talk inside. Oh, can we? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's one dude right there. I think I might just go outside, <laughs> to be honest. Where they belong. You feed that pig better than you feed us. Uh, pig's got value to me. I'd have turned you all away if I wasn't a godly man. You are a godly man. That's how right there gave birth to a literal. And she's almost as fat as this one here. Yeah. Why don't you dine on him? Carve off what you need as you go. Well, look at him. He's a walking feast. Why is he talking so much? Just jump this dude. Oh. <laughs> so rude. Is this about to be Gilly? Having a baby? You wasn't pregnant, was she? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is her. She was trying to go with him because she didn't want to have a son, remember? One more push should do it. He walked in at the right moment, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah, you might get decapitated for that. You're run. Oh, it's the wrong gender. It's a boy, maybe? Yeah, he gives away the boys, right? Obviously. Keep quiet. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's that dude freeing him up. Dang, that's really nice of him. Oh, he's going to have to carry him because he has, like, so many wounds. I just don't know why they captured him. Right. Dang. That guy's like, I don't know what to do with this guy. He's struggling. Right east. Your sister's waiting for you. Make you a lord of the Iron Islands for this. We're not in the Iron Islands. Come on. Come on. Not in the Iron Islands. Like, it's weird because I hate Theon, but a part of me for some reason just feels kind of glad he escaped. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to see him, like, just tortured to be death. grinded up. Yeah. Like, what the heck were they doing to him? And who were they? I still want him to get caught, though. How long will you be gone? I don't know. You're abandoning me. I will never abandon you. You are the son of fire. I am sworn to serve you. Then serve me. When I return, you will understand. My enemies think they've destroyed me. They're laughing at me. The way Renly laughed at me. I want Joffrey dead. I want Rob Stark dead. Hmm. I don't like that. Me either. Give me another son. You don't have the strength. It would kill you. I'm not so easily killed. Men have been trying for years. I want you. What happened to the first one? I guess it kills and it runs off. <laughs> Grew up fast, huh? It goes to hell or something. Your fires burn low, my king. You told me your magic requires a king's blood. I'm the one true king. You are. You will sit on the Iron Throne. First, there must be sacrifices. A Lord of Light demands it. You'd have to schedule me a meeting with his Lord of Light. We'd have some things to hash out. Like, what is she up to? Oh my goodness gracious. The walk of punishment is a warning, your grace. For any slave who contemplates doing whatever these slaves do. Give me your water. Oh my gosh, he has so many slashes. Leave this place, your grace. Leave tonight, I beg you. We can find cell swords in Pentos and Mir. Did we already, Sir Barristan? Delhi. That will mean blood on your hands before the thing is done. The blood of my enemies, not the blood of innocence. Yeah, this is kind of weird there being two of them. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen a war where innocence didn't die by the thousands? There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. But the unsullied are not men. They do not rape. We do not put cities to the sword unless they're ordered to do so. Do you disagree, Sir Barristan? When your brother Rhaegar led his army into battle, of the trident men died for him because they believed in him not because they've been bought at a slaver's auction i fought beside the last dragon on that day rhaegar fought valiantly rhaegar fought nobly rhaegar died did you know him well sir barristan finest man i ever met i wish i had known him he was not the last dragon oh that's her so she's got like a decision to make how she wants to spend her resources yeah she's thinking about copping these what are they called unsullies yeah one side said earn them one side said buy them <laughs> there are eight thousand unsullied in astapor your ship will buy you 100 unsullied the gold you have left is worth 10 but good master krasnus will give you 20. she is like a twisted face i don't know what she's about to do master krasnus asks how you propose to pay for the remaining 7877 unsullied i have dragons i'll give you one whoa <laughs> i don't believe it you will win the throne with dragons not slaves your grace yeah that doesn't seem like a fair trade bro keep the dragon i don't I don't think she's gonna do it. I think she's gonna I think she's gonna trick this man somehow. Three dragon. One. Two. One. They want the biggest one. Done. Done. Look at Jura. He's like, what in God's green earth? I'll take you as well. 
Give me Master Krasny's gift to me. Token of a bargain well struck. Yeah, because you got a bargain. A dragon is worth more than any army. I value your advice, but if you ever question me in front of strangers again, you'll be advising someone else. Dang, girl. <laughs> I mean, she has to be like that, right? Right. But look, she said that there's some old men. <laughs> this one's name is Masande, Your Grace. Do you have a family? No, Your Grace. You belong to me now. It is your duty to tell me the truth. Yes, Your Grace. Lying is a great offense. I offered water to one of the slaves dying on the walk of punishment. Do you know what he said? to me let me die there are no masters in the grave your grace oh is it true what master christ has told me about the unsullied they obey that is all they will fall on their swords if you command it you know that i'm taking you to war you may go hungry you may fall sick you may be killed Valar Mogulis. Yes. yo that's oh. what the faceless dude all men must die oh she knew but we are not men oh but we are not men this is the safest place in the city not for bastards that's all of them, my lord. You can't even That's think right. straight. <laughs> I know. What is this wagon? <laughs> I hear you owe that boy a significant debt. Only my life. Not all that significant, I'm afraid. You should have him knighted. If only the master of coin had such power. So is he basically a treasurer? <laughs> like, is yeah, that what basically, is? yeah. You secured her release when the queen detained her. But how would the queen get that idea? Why don't you ask her? These are such besties. Any advice for me on my new position? Keep a low profile. If I had a gold dragon, for every time I heard that joke, I'd be richer than you are. Well, you are richer than I am. Oh, that was a joke. Keep a low profile. <laughs> yeah, so rude. <laughs> I didn't even get it like that. You want a real challenge? I've tried quite a few. Enjoy the eerie. So he's going to marry Catelyn's sister? Little Finger. Oh, yeah, Little Finger. Yeah, he's just in love with that family. <laughs> I know. Looks like dull reading. The secret history of the Seven Kingdoms is written in these pages. Paul Drake. Yes, Mort. After a long consultation with my colleague, I finally found a suitable reward for the services you've provided. Tell me, Pod. Have you ever been with a woman? Oh, my lord. Wonderful. Oh, no. Dang, he didn't even get, like, time to warm up. <laughs> Be back in time for my supper. I know that he's gonna have so much anxiety, like, what the heck? <laughs> for years, I've heard that Littlefinger is a magician. Whenever the crown needs money, he rubs his hands together and poof, mountains of gold. Let me guess, he's not a magician. He's stealing it? Worse, he's borrowing it. Oh, jeez. What's wrong with that? Interest. Can't afford to pay it back, that's what's wrong with it. The crown owes millions to my father. I've never borrowed money before. The basic principle is, I lend you money, and after an agreed upon period of time, you return it with interest. And what if I don't? Well, you have to. But what if I don't? This is why I don't lend you money. <laughs> right, what are you going to do? <laughs> so I'm you're like, a bank loan, you The Iron Bank of Brothers. We owe them tens of millions. If we fail to repay these loans, the bank will fund our enemies. One way or another, they always get their gold back. The return of the conquering hero. I trust you got your money's worth, or should I say my money's worth? And they're in debt. <laughs> oh, it was a gift, Podrick. This is more than I give you in a year. He's a squire. You don't pay him. Oh, then it's much more than I give you in a year. <laughs> I was about to say, he gets paid. Maybe they're trying to curry some favor with the new master of coin. They were happy enough to take it when I gave it to them. What did you tell them? I didn't tell them anything. What did you do to them? Lots of things. And they seem to like these things? Yes, my lord. Of course they seem to like it. They're paid to seem to like it. Only they weren't paid. These ladies enjoyed him so much, they gave him the time for free. Is that what you're telling us? Oh, are they just playing with his ego right now? <laughs> I don't know. Like just making up a lie. <laughs> Sit down. Going to need details. Copious details. He poured wine for him. <laughs> right. He's a squire. That man said ride ride where the sun rises or something like that. Is he lost? Wouldn't you be? Like, what does that even mean what he said? <gasps> Whoa. He basically set him up. Oh no. <laughs> They didn't set him up. Maybe they just called him. I'm glad they know how to do that. The jump. Yeah, there's just no reality. You're getting away from this. Mm -mm. Unless he's just that bad of a shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. So he never found that guy. He never mm. found the guy that he needed to go see. They're really not playing with Theon, dude. <gasps> Dang. <gasps> Yeah, we do. We run away, here, do you? Oh my gosh! What are they about to do to him? Torture him in the woods? I don't know. That's kind of weird, bro. Why are you doing that to my boy? <laughs> like, what you doing that for? <gasps> Someone's in his corner. Maybe it's his sister. 
It's the guy who helped him escape, probably. You think he has a shot like that? Yeah. I think it's his sister. Yeah, it could be his sister. That's what he said. He was Pull your pants for. up. Yo, it's my boy. Let's go. I can recognize his hair. I He's got that. I thought that dude was just like the janitor. Let's go. <laughs> I thought he was just sweeping up. Dude, he must be like a main character vibe because he, he can do more than you think. Yeah, Whoa. Little bastard. Oh my, that close range. Nah, he's not just a janitor. But he was just mopping in there, was he not though? Well, they obviously sent like an ironborn assassin over there. <laughs> That's Theon's boy right there, look. They maybe know each other. Well, he's nah, obviously they ironborn. They can't know each other. No, nah, he's from his place probably. No, nah, he saw him earlier and didn't notice him, so don't you think he would know? Theon hasn't lived there his whole life. How would he know? I'll take the big bitch first. I am Brienne of Tar. Lady Catelyn Stark commanded me to deliver Sir Jamie to King's Landing. If nobody said shit about you. Wow. You're only making it worse. Let's go. You know who she is, don't you? Some big dumb bitch from who cares where. Oh my. She's Brienne of Tar. Her father's Lord Selwyn Tar. They call it the Sapphire Isle. You know why? Every sapphire in Westeros was mined on Tar. Sapphires are gemstones lord selwyn so they rich daughter's weight in sapphires if she's returned to her but only if she's alive her honor unbesmirched call it off bro get rich bring it back here you're so obedient unbesmirched not defiled your father he'd pay your weight in gold to get you back absolutely he would yes sir you're rich mm -hmm. man till the end of your days lands titles you'll have them all the north can't win this war you're a smart man, you understand that. We have the numbers, we have the gold. I don't, I'm Imagine not buying this guy, just believing him. For a losing cause is admirable. No, nah, this guy hates shaming. For a winning cause, it's far more rewarding. Now that we're speaking together man to man, I wonder if you need to keep me chained to this tree. If I could sleep lying down, my back would thank you for it. I don't know, man, you're good at escaping. Oh, no. I'm telling you to take me from the tree. What? There's no way these idiots just got manipulated like that, right? They're smarter than that. Suppose you'd be wanting something to eat. Valished, actually. <laughs> I'm confused. Maybe, th maybe they do want some gold. Bring the bird over here. The carving knife. Will this work as a table, my lord? Oh, he's like mocking him, obviously. That's kind of what I was. Oh, they're about to beat him up. Yeah, jump him or something. Stop. You think you're the smartest <laughs> man there is? They can take his eye out. And if you get in any trouble, all you've got to do is say, "My father." Right. I'm already That's sick it. of that. <gasps> Not the eye. Your daddy ain't here. Yeah, this should help you remember. <gasps> oh! oh! His hand. He can escape though. Dang. What is this rock music at the end of this? Yeah, like what the hell? Crazy episode, guys. So basically what happened, man, was Jamie ran his mouth way too much, ended up in the hands of the wrong people, and ended up getting his whole entire hand cut off, man. It was freaking crazy. I thought they were gonna take an eye and he say, you know what, your daddy talks too much. Or you talk too much, actually. You say your dad too much. It was honestly getting on my nerves. I know it was getting on your nerves. So it's probably getting on you guys' nerves. Because I was thinking, you know, you seem so big and bold, but you use your dad as a shield a lot. So he said, Wow! And it was gone. Absolutely freaking crazy. So what else happened? Daenerys is gonna get the slave people i guess right she's all girl power over there and she's gonna get her uh thing and she's like we're not men we are girls ladies so we can't <laughs> die and we're gonna march on and i don't know <laughs> what the heck's on. going she's about to go buy a bunch of soldiers and and the replace of a dragon which is like no why would you do that i, I don't feel like that's a good deal but you know, you said that she's going to manipulate them. I feel like that's not going to happen. She's not going to give her kids up like that. I'm sitting there thinking if the, they're emphasizing if they do what they're told, like, why don't you just say, oh, I'll give you a dragon. Now, Unsullied, why don't you go kill this guy talking junk and then give him my dragon True. back? That's what I would do. I don't know. Maybe that's what she's going to do. Yo, that was crazy. What's up with that rock music at the end? Yeah, tell us about it. Someone in the comments. Oh, that's his man. Hand. Oh, my. He has to wear it. That promises of gold and stuff worked for a long time. He's going to fall off his horse. Someone help him. They don't care. <gasps> hey, he's lucky for that. And he nah. fell in the mud like that. At least he didn't fall on a stump. He's Break at rock his bottom. collarbone. Jamie is at rock bottom right now. I mean, he kind of freaking deserves it, to be honest. Right. Oh. It sucks to see someone get treated like that, though. I know they suck. Yeah. Say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. Oh, shoot. That's what I was thinking. I wouldn't ugh. trust anything from yeah. him. Like, oh, hey, one handed. What's up? Left handed at that. He's probably like, let me just fight out of here because I'd rather do that than have to get treated like this. That man's got more fight than a 12 <laughs> pound cat. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> what kind of line do you catch it on? Oh, seven pound test. You can catch any fish on seven pound test, y'all. <laughs> You know what you're doing. 
Look how dirty his wound's gonna be. I know it's gonna get all infected. Oh, I kind of can't watch this kind of treatment. Do that again, and I'll take your other hand. He might die. I mean, that's sort of the vibe I'm getting. They killed off Ned, they'll kill off this guy. No, I'm saying he might die just from like infection at that. I hope we might speak in confidence. Always in confidence. About the events of the Blackwater. I thought one of your little birds might have knowledge of my sister's intentions. And your life? I have no proof, only whispers. I was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. <clears throat> you want to hear it still? I don't know. Do What's I in that box? As a boy, I traveled with a troop of actors through the free cities. One day in Mir, a certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. But what he wanted was far worse. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. With a hooked blade, he sliced mm. my root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in a brazier. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. The word of light? No, that's where Thoros is from, Mir. That dude that has Arya. dream of that night, not of the sorcerer. I dream of the voice from the flames. Was it a god, a demon? Conjurer's trick. They could be right. Yeah. Could have to do with that too. They were looking into the flames, Stannis. I have hated magic and all those who practice it. But you can see why I was eager to aid in your fight against Stannis and his red priestess. A symbolic revenge of sorts. Right, there you yes. go. I feel the need for actual revenge <laughs> against the actual person who tried to have me killed which will require a degree of influence which you do not possess <laughs> once i had served the sorcerer's purpose threw me out of his house to die i resolved to live to spite him i begged i sold what parts of my body remained to me i became an excellent thief and soon learned that the contents of a man's letters more valuable than the contents of his purse. One distasteful task after another, I made my way from the slums of Mir to the small council chamber. So he's grody. Influence grows like a weed. I tended mine patiently until its tendrils reached from the Red Keep all the way across to the far side of the world, where I managed to wrap them around something very special. Sorcerer. <laughs> The sorcerer. Hello. He had him imported? In a long time. I have no doubt the revenge you want will be yours in time. If you have the stomach for it. This show has a way of like being really normal and then throwing some really weird stuff at you and then normalizing it. And then at, right when you're comfortable, it makes it even weirder. Mm -hmm. When the Lord Commander says we go, we go. The Lord Commander told us to go to the fist of the first men. How'd that turn out for us? He had no way of knowing. We do now. We know what's out there. Crust has been out here, surviving. So he's your new protector now. We're like the sons he never had. When the walkers come calling, Crust will serve us up like so many pigs. Then you better get to deserting then. We'll have to look out for ourselves. Maybe there's truth to that though. Yeah. You woke him. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Does he have a name? Why? He said to hold it for you until he came back. You're back at you to I don't want your stupid thing. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? Mm -mm. That's hard. I don't have time for anyone but him because... So Sam's mission right now, obviously, is to try to save her baby. Right, because Craster's gonna go deliver it up to the uh, blue-eyed demon. Right, because that's not shady at all, right? right? What in the world? You have to go after him. You know how. They're obviously worked out because he's on foot. Right. Oh, he's back to his climbing days. Brandon. Hmm. <laughs> How many times have I told you? Quit climbing, boy. No climbing. I thought I need to find it. It's here. It's Promise calling. me. No more climbing. Promise me. Whoa, Promise she's about me. to push him off. Promise me. Ah! Promise me. Creepy. Is he very large? No larger than usual, apparently. The most extraordinary man they've ever had. And they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same pottery. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did he do to them? I was usually quite descriptive. Said it was hard to describe. I mean, please tell us. <laughs> what the heck? Prodigies. <laughs> what did Littlefinger say about this 
loss of income. He was too preoccupied to notice. He's leaving for the Eerie soon. Yeah, he's getting married. Pursue his enduring love of the Lady Aaron and the title that comes with her. Is that all it takes to make our friend lose interest in poor Sansa Stark? I don't think he's lost interest. His shipboard inventory. Oh, mm. the tea. You can read. Rare for a woman in your profession. Former profession? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm missing something obvious you're about to point out. He's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. Could he be bringing one of his girls? He's not interested in them, my lord. How do you know? Because I'm one of his girls. Prodigies in odd places indeed. <laughs> Rhaenyra Targaryen was murdered by her brother, rather, his dragon. It ate her while her son watched. <laughs> Why is he giggling? Because he's so he's like still a kid, but he's still twisted. There appears to be a good deal of room elsewhere on the premises for everyone else. There aren't more than 700 people of any importance. Wow. <laughs> the ashes of Arian Targaryen, Arian Brightflame. He thought drinking wildfire would turn him into a dragon. <laughs> oh no. He was wrong. He was wrong. <laughs> would you like to see where the last Targaryens are buried? Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? Oh, no, it's quite all right, Your Grace. I'd love to see their tombs, really. Man, they're going to be part of that history one day. <laughs> you were married here, Your Grace? Yes. That seemed like only yesterday. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago. Your husband, was he buried here as well? No, he wanted his remains returned to Storm's End. Such a tragedy. A fairly predictable tragedy. Hunting and drinking don't mix. My son's a hunter. It helps him forget he's never been within a mile of a real battle. He laid siege to Storm's End for the better part of a year. All he laid siege to was the banquet table in the command tent. He told him <laughs> to stay out of Robert's Rebellion. He had no business fighting an actual warrior. We mothers do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. And yet the world belongs to them. A ridiculous arrangement in my mind. He was going to have their bodies burned and thrown in the black water but the high septum convinced him otherwise so i know they did terrible things at the end but their ancestors built this sometimes severity is the price we pay for greatness i couldn't agree more i'm confused what's going on here i don't know with their dynamic does he actually like her i think he does should we go and see them but she's, she's like, like playing into all. everything you want them your love they will return it a thousand fold she said a thousand fold not tenfold i know how they feel about you you led the defense of king's landing yeah, from your chambers. They adore you. Is she gonna get him beat up? Maybe killed? Open the doors. Oh, wow. Wait. She's gonna teach him a little bit. Man, she, she talked to a few orphans and turned that place around, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> so awkward. She doesn't like that. Right. Cersei's like, uh-huh. Better get that woman out of here. Your sister's waiting for you there. She sent you to save me. I served them, the men who were torturing you. I did what they told me and waited for the right moment. I grew up on Saltcliff. I was only a boy when they took you away. My father brought me and my brothers up to the bluff so we could watch the ship that carried you off. Wow. Oh, dang. I remember the look on my father's face when he told us. That's Balon Greyjoy's last living son. And those are the words I heard over and over again when I saw what they were doing to you. Aww. They said my father knew what they were doing to me. Did he? I don't know, my lord. They never told me much. I feel like he knows. He just didn't want to tell him. Right. That's really nice. What's up with him, though? I think he's just trying to help him escape. Like, I get He works for Yara, apparently. Well, I get it, but that's <laughs> awful nice. I life. got some intimate stories from my childhood, too, but I ain't trying to go risk my life for him. Well, this man knows about a secret tunnel way. I was just thinking how jealous I was when my father told Yara to take this place. <laughs> what did he tell you to do? <laughs> Raid fishing villages. He didn't trust me. I could never be a Stark. Rob Stark always reminded me of that. He lorded it only. Didn't have to. All he had to do was be who he was born to be. To be. His life fitting better than mm -hmm. his clothes. Could someone like that it'll be a bludger to me? He's the king of the north. Father gave me a choice, and I made it. Could never be a star. It's iron born. That's what I was born to be. Unless your dad betrayed you, bro. I know your dad like does not like you. I the iron price for him to fall. Some poor orphans living with the farmer. Yeah, you wrong for I that, bro. Dagma slit their throats and let him burn the bodies. Dang. So you just watch like a coward. Right. The auntie, auntie, on. Maybe it's not too late. Aww. My real father lost his head at King's Landing. Wow. I made a choice, and I chose wrong. So he's finally admitting it, huh? At least he's seeing his errors, though. Yeah, I mean, he could keep going with it and be hard-headed. I'm surprised he's going to her. Like, I would be a little scared. I brought him back. He, he killed the others. No, I didn't. What? What the what? heck? This little punk. Dude, what in the heck is going on, bro? 
Put him back where he belongs. All that junk was just a show? Is he trying to look like Frodo? Yeah, he looks like an evil little Frodo. Crazy. He brought real. him all the way back. Oh my god. Just to say he killed people. I bet Theon was like, what the? Mm. That was kind of crazy. That was shocking, dude. I that bet was Theon's... like the rudest crap ever. <laughs> Theon's probably like, what the heck, man? <laughs> that was cruel. What are you doing? I don't like that guy. Can't die. Can't die. You need to live to take revenge. I don't care about revenge. You coward. Well, misfortune, you're giving up. The seeds of switch. Misfortune. misfortune. You lost your hand. My sword hand. I was that hand. But I'm a taste of the real world. And you whine and cry and quit. Right, with your high born ass. Bloody woman. Accountability. She's letting him have it. That's what I'm saying. All these rich people, they play this game and they don't really like seem mentally prepared to have it happen to them. But I don't yeah. know. They do. Yeah, I mean, but they, they could have took your boy's boots. They could have took his boots. They took his hand. Like, good gosh. They could have cut his nuts off. That would have been worse. At least they left him a hand. I told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. <laughs> he made up a story. I knew that. But <laughs> them idiots didn't. <laughs> that was kind. Why did you help me? Because he's got a heart, y'all. Maybe he wants to get back to Cersei. Yeah, he'll do anything. But for what? She's so, like, dreadful. No offense to all the Cersei fans. We love to hate her. If you wanted to speak to me. I wanted to make sure we're doing everything we can to get him back. Okay, backseat driver. Catherine Stark took Tyrion prisoner. What did I do in response? You started a war. Well, if I would start a war for that lecherous little stump, <laughs> what do you think <laughs> I'm doing for my eldest son and heir? <laughs> Whatever I can. Always writing, right. always sealing something up, making moves. You're still here. Yes. Did it ever occur to you that I might be the one who deserves your confidence and your trust? Not your sons, not Jamie or Tyrion, but me. Years and years of lectures on family and legacy. Did it ever occur to you that your daughter might be the only one listening to them? That she might have the most to contribute to your legacy? That's his thing, so isn't it? More than your actual children. He's like, yes, it has occurred to me, actually. And you're miserable. Can't put you in charge. Oh, contribute. <laughs> the Tyrells are a problem. The Tyrells helped us defeat Stannis Baratheon. Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey. She knows how to manipulate him. Good. I wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. Facts, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. I love how really keeps it, though. Yeah. Like, that's why I like him so much. You should try stopping him from doing what he likes. I will. What's that? Do you like it, Nana? Another golden rose. How original. I eat from plates stamped with roses. I have a golden rose painted on my chamber pot. As if that makes it smell any better. Mm. Roses are boring, dear. Growing strong. The dullest words of any house. Winter is coming. Oh, that's memorable. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? So strong. Strong <laughs> houses you watch out for. Dire wolves and krakens. Fierce beasts. But a golden rose growing strong. Oh, that strikes fear in the heart. Look, little loves. A spider. <laughs> Spider. Now. Grow strong. I wanted to personally welcome you. Yeah, this is about to be sassy right here. The city I know. has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? Oh, you yes. to seduce me? Calm. I've heard you're such a clever man. I'm curious why you sought me out. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> She's had an interesting childhood. She has. Well, forgive me for wasting your time then. I thought we shared certain hopes for her well being. Come, come. Surrender rather easily. <laughs> they're Wait, so she annoying. surrendered, right? <laughs> yeah, they're just playing. Right. I choose my allies carefully and my enemies more carefully still. Which is Sansa Stark. I admired her father. Ned Stark had many admirers. And how many stepped forward when the executioner came for his head? What were they supposed to do? <laughs> You're not the only one who has taken an interest in her. She's a beautiful girl with a famous name. She'd make a lovely match for the right suitor. It almost feels as if you're about to arrive at the point. Littlefinger is not long for the capital. A confidant of mine has told me that when he goes, Sansa Stark goes with him. Littlefinger was born with no lands, no wealth, no armies. 
He has acquired the first two. How long before he has the army? Perhaps you'll laugh, but I know him better than most, and this is the truth. So he thinks Little he's a threat. Finger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. Mm -hmm. Big threat. If Robb Stark mm -hmm. falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the North. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. You must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, <laughs> I rather enjoy him. But he would see this country burn if he could be king of the ashes. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious. Isn't it? So that was crazy. So really, Varys' whole objective is to play politics, but he doesn't really want to be the guy. He wants to be in the shadows and just keep the realm like Running. not ashes. Right. Yeah. Not like crazy. destroying I itself. I disturb you if you wouldn't mind waiting back inside the keep. What did you pray for? I can't tell you. I'll tell you what I prayed for in the set this morning. My family's health and happiness for an end to the war. Boring and traditional, I'm afraid. My cousin Alana was the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. Pig face, she called me. <laughs> Pig face, that's ridiculous. I think it had something to do with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I prayed that she'd catch a horrible skin disease. A week after that, she came down with porridge plague. Dang. Porridge plague. Oh, you don't have it in the north. Oh my gosh. That's awful. I believed you. <laughs> porridge plague. I'm an idiot. Don't I mean, I believed it. We have giants in here. I know. So what happened to Alana? Oh, she grew up to be the most beautiful woman and married a handsome lord, and they have darling children and live in a castle by the sea. It's all terribly frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's jealous of you now. You'll be married here in the capital. I want us to be friends good friends weird that would make me very happy oh you must see high garden you'd love it there i know you would i don't think the queen would let me leave king's landing the queen regent you mean once i marry joffrey i'll be queen <laughs> and if you were to marry Laura, She's i knew politics. this was coming i knew this was coming for some reason your place would be at high garden wouldn't it we would be sisters you and i would you like that Oh, she's trying to help her. Yeah, but it also is self-serving for her because she's sitting there like checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. She wants to be the most powerful. She wants to take over, basically. It she wants. Like it, she has bit. just as much ambition as a king, but she can't because she's a female. So she's doing it in her own way. In a nice way. Right. He came to us from. Where did he come from? <laughs> Down White Harbor way. He came to us from White Harbor. Never failed in his duty. Oh. Kept his vows best he could. He rode far, fought fiercely. We shall never see his like again. Now his watch has ended. Tied home. And now his watch has ended. That bastard Craster starved him to death. We can't just show up and steal all his food. The brothers of the Night's Watch, not thieves. The day we leave, Craster will tap a barrel of our wine and sit down to a feast of ham and potatoes and laugh at us, starving in the snow. He's a bloody wildling's all he is. You ever meet a man with 99 sons? And more Jay daughters home. than I can count. I'll be glad when you and yours are gone. As soon as our wounded are strong enough. Nah. I'll leave them if you've not the stomach. And I'll sort them myself. Or you, bro. Bro, you gonna cut, old man? Exactly. <laughs> Wait outside. It's cold outside and there's nothing to eat. My wife That's how I'm feeling. Sawdust in the bread. You don't like it. You go out there and eat the snow. I told you to wait outside he's sitting there drinking our wine eating his fill but we die we'll give you crows enough i gotta feed my women so you admit you've got a hidden larder then how else you make it through winter enough out i am a godly man you're a stingy bastard <laughs> go sleep in the cold and empty belly chop the hands off the next man who calls me bastard that really offended him man that's crazy y'all just need to jump this dude <laughs> that's probably why i didn't like john so much you are a bastard let's Ooh. go Wildling bastard. You know what I'm saying, though. Oh, oh, wow. Hey, that's all it takes. I shall have your head. Whoa. No, they didn't kill the Lord Commander. Yo, they said we're tired of listening to you. I mean, in a way, I mean, shoot. Mm. Oh, shoot. That's the end of the Lord Commander. That's crazy. Crazy, bro. Like, Dude, that's Jorah's dad, too, right? Oh. How'd he get up? <gasps> oh, yeah, he's gonna take her and the baby. No. So the Night's Watch is like done. Yeah. That's crazy. It stood for so long, man. Boy, I, know the best way. I blame the Lord Commander. You shouldn't let that man disrespect your men like that. I'll be cutting your throat one of these nights. Who? And he's talking about Sam. Did Sam escaped, I guess? I do apologize, little lady, but it's better for you if you don't see where we're going. Oh! Blackstrap rum. 
Mm. Not easy finding molasses in wartime. I'd have some. Mm. They genuinely don't seem that bad, huh? I don't know what's up with them. I know he's from that place where you get the poison from. What is this place? Somewhere neither wolves nor lions come prowling. Are they about to sacrifice him? Oh, he hates fire. That's why he quit at Blackwater. I forgot about that. Right. He hates fire. Look like a bunch of swine herds. Some of us were swine herds. And some was tanners and masons. Fighting in a war makes you a soldier. Who the heck is this? Eric Dundarian. Right there, Barrett and Darian. And I won't see them again. You lot aren't fighting in a war, you're running from it. Last I heard, you were King Joffrey's guard dog. Here you are a thousand miles from home. Which of us is running? Untie these ropes and we'll find out. What are you doing? Leading a mob of peasants. Ned Stark ordered me to execute your brother in King Robert's name. Ned Stark is dead. King Robert is dead. My brother's alive. You're fighting for ghosts. That's what we are. Waiting for you in the dark. <laughs> you can't see us, but we see you. Lannister, Stark, Baratheon. You pray in the weak. The Brotherhood without banners will hunt you down. You found God. Is that it? Aye. I've been reborn in the light of the one true God. As have we all. Oh no. As would any the God of Light. Lions, you call yourselves. At the Mummers' Ford, girls of seven years were raped. And babes, still on the breast, were cut in two while their mothers watched. I wasn't at the Mummers' Ford. Dump your dead children at some other door. House the game was built upon dead children. I saw them lay Prince Aegon and Princess Rhaenys before the Iron Throne. You take me for my brother. Is being born, Clegane, a crime? Murder is a crime. I never touched the Targaryen babes. You want to cut my throat? Get on with it! So his brother did all that. Right. Don't call me murderer and pretend that you're not. You murdered Micah, the butcher's boy. He was 12 years old, and you rode him down. You slung him over your horse like he was some deer. The boy attacked the prince. That's a lie. I hit Joffrey. Then I should have killed you. <laughs> Not my place to question princes. You stand accused of murder, but no one here knows the truth of the charge. Only the Lord of Light may do oh that. Oh, my. Oh, hell no. I sentence you to trial by combat. Who's fighting? Oh, who will it be? We find out if your fire god really loves you, priest. <laughs> you archer. Or you worth with a sword in your hand? Or is the little girl the bravest one here? She might be, but it's me you'll find. Oh. What in the heck? This guy with all the confidence in one eye. The master says they are untested. He says you would be wise to blood them early. There are many small cities between here and there. Cities ripe for sacking. That's jacked up, bro. Should you take captives? The masters will buy the healthy ones and for a good price. She's up to something because she's being quiet. <laughs> that thing can still kill that dude though because it killed the warlock that's what you're saying yeah burn him up but she can't just go around like doing that though right she has to like abide by some type of honor like she's like here you go buddy oh uh -huh. he just hands that over it done, then? Uh -huh. no way you're not just gonna give that baby up i don't believe it go again Yo, she speaks what? the language. So she's been taking it the whole time <laughs> from that guy. This dude cannot control this dragon. Right. Ooh. Oh, wow. Dang. Talking all that junk, too. Nice. You don't hold the whip. Man, you better let go of that dragon. Dracarys. Oh, yes. Jeez. And he thought that was about to be his pet. He really thought that. I didn't think it. I didn't buy it for one minute. That's, you know, but I was sitting there thinking that would be the first order of business, right? Because they're going on and on about how they'll do whatever you tell them to do. Right. Oh. Dang. You don't look like a Bruce Willis movie. You saw that fire <laughs> blowing up in the back. See it, Astapor. Go back, Gavis. So they're like, yeah, but they're not really trained to do anything else. Yeah, they don't know any better. I guess that means yes, they will. Well, let's go. She's got another army. So she's got some Dorthraki and some Unsullied. Yep. Oh my gosh, she just throws it away. Well, she doesn't need it anymore. Yep. Her and Rob's wife would get along. Just remember, that's why she left the Free Cities. Yeah, they didn't get along for a second until they went to war with each other. Yeah, true. Look at those cute little adorable demons. No, the they're dragons. not. Crazy. 
All right, guys. So, geez, that was Game of Thrones season three, episode three and four. We got a lot to tackle. Yep. Go ahead. I don't know where to start. Man, where me either. Start? That was <laughs> nuts. So we already broke down the first episode. Pretty crazy, man. Uh, we're, let's just get more into the second one and just overall what's going on with the story. So still, man, the most shocking thing to me was Jamie got his hand cut off. Oh, my right? God. Like, yes. Let's just start there. So I was not expecting that. I mean, I was expecting something bad to come upon that situation, but I did not think that man was going to just take your boy's hand. This was the most shocking sequence of Game of Thrones we've seen yet on the channel. Well, right. I'm going to speak for myself. I think so. <laughs> you know, they took off Ned's head. There's been some shocking moments, man. Um, You know, we got to give a shout out to the crossbow, the crossbow Sansa. But you know what? Or Sansa. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, dude, this one was nuts. Yeah. So much happened. That then, guy, first of all, that guy that captured Theon. That's what I'm saying. He brought Theon back to he his. He tricked him to trick him. Yeah, and he... he right. I don't what know why trick. he done all that. I really don't know. Like, who is he even? Like, that, that's the thing. Apparently, he's he just seems like he's just a little, like, guy under the radar, but he's trying to make, like, some type of moves or something. I don't know. Even the, the heartfelt story about that's the last son of Balon Greyjoy leaving. Like, that was such a... He like, tricked, well, he yeah. tricked us. And he even committed... He murdered all those dudes in Arissa's life. And he was literally... I swear to gosh, y'all, if you go back and look at that episode, he was mopping. Yeah, he was like... He was janitor. mopping. Like, yeah. And then he's gonna set this man up like that as a... So, obviously... As a janitor. Like, obviously, he's someone of importance who has infiltrated. So, right. we're gonna see more with that. I don't want to speculate too much because I kind of don't have any idea what's going on right. with that Right. Like, point. I don't know why he tricked Theon to think it was his sister. I don't know if his sister even actually was even involved at all that was just unbelievably cruel right. though so it's definitely gonna stick in my head like forever because that was i hate this freaking mic sorry i keep touching my stupid mic that's gonna stick in my head forever right. guys daenerys went over there and turns out she speaks the old tongue the old tongue valeria and she basically heard all those insults yeah so instead of getting a spear no nah, you had to burn to death by dragon so right. she gave him the worst possible death you know i'm not gonna say that he didn't deserve it you know right. what i'm saying i don't condone the burning by dragon but, but yeah, what man. a twist that was because she literally took the she bought them so right i thought she was just gonna buy them whatever take them across the sea whatever but she freed them and told them just like she did the dothraki and said that they could fight with them and you know some of them did some of them didn't but it seems like they would just prefer to follow her because honestly they don't know any better it seems it seems well, yeah, like they all they know how to do is follow they don't really have another skill set so right um they're still pretty brainwashed at this point so but i mean yeah dude definitely an army of free folk another type of free folk in the show so right. i really like daenerys's idea though so she's gonna go across this continent it looks like just freeing cities along the way i guess and trying to gather her arm right so yeah so that's pretty good man so that's a really good strategy on how she can you know go take the iron throne because why would you not want to follow someone who just freed you from like a slaver i guess right but you know if you grow up like in that culture over there like why would you necessarily want to go to westeros Right. It's so different there, you know? Like, I don't... I'm not saying it's better. It's it's the same. It's it's not... It's hard to compare, guys. They both suck in their own way, but they are very different. Like, the cultures are very different. So, Daenerys wherever, might be better suited in Nessos is all I'm saying. Wherever Arya is, it's coinciding with that same thing that Stannis has going on. So, the Lord of the Light is involved in both of their situations for some reason. We got to see more about this I'm Lord sure of the it's going to be important at some point. I'm just not really sure why or when. I'm ready to meet him because we've heard a lot about him. He's right. making a lot of... He basically has got a lot of pull down here on this whatever whatever this earth is called hey let me know guys that was another random thought i had for mrs october i was asking her i was like i understand there's essos and westeros and this is a fantasy world but does this particular planet have a name like did the arthur give this planet a name and the if arthur it is, not the arthur did the author author man mm -hmm. i talk country man. <laughs> anyhow is there a name for this planet just let me know but anyways random thought yeah i mean i really don't know give it give it a guess i don't know you give it a guess Eartheros. Arthros. Hey, that's not bad. It's pretty bad, actually. Anyways, guys, so uh, that's why I didn't guess, because I was like, dude, I might say something crazy like earth roast or something anyways guys so brianne and jamie apparently are developing some type of like you know like friendship or something right? right i don't know if it's friendship or they're just looking after each other because who else do they have to look after you know right but either either way the circumstances they're put in is making them like kind of like being together because jamie helped by telling a lie which jamie i've told you in editing jamie's lies on the road are hilarious like if you ever stop and like listen to him yeah he's, he's honestly he hilarious on, right? yeah he right he just like sells the story really well and like i said that funny. got him through a really long time until right. he finally didn't a year with him and he lost a hand well you know his whole life basically that little charming persona he right. puts on he's yeah. witty so we got a new master of coin too by right the way. so that's exciting so Tyrion is now our master of coins so there are millions of dollars in debt he's a very clever man he's very to smart. bravos 
ghosts, which we don't know anything about. That's what they're right. But Littlefinger apparently does because Littlefinger has like all these calculated moves he's not sharing. That was an, that's another thing. Sorry, uh, I got sidetracked there. Uh, and that was another thing. Varys was really talking about how Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in the entire right. kingdom. And little by little behind the scenes, he's checkmate, checkmate, and all he needs is an army. And he could really make a push to take the throne. And I don't know exactly what he would do if he was in that position, but Varys seems very weary of Right, that. and I think the reason why he's kind of even mentioning it to anyone is because he's getting married to Callan Stark's sister, which if you recall, that's where Tyrion had to get Bronn then because they fought to the death. But remember, they had an army. Yeah. So Varys told us that all we all Peter Baelish needs is an army and seems to me like that could be the, the army. Right. It seems like almost Varys's job is a full time employee of making sure that Littlefinger doesn't come to power. I feel like what he does is he just always wants to make sure the realm's good. Like, he's always doing the sneaky stuff just to protect the realm, even in future. So, basically, like, everyone knows that in order to (laughs) essentially the realm running, a lot of sneakiness needs to go on behind the scenes, and Littlefinger's a representation of that. (laughs) Right, and whatever, whatever, you mean Varys? Is that not what I said? I think you said Littlefinger. I'm I'm talking about, I don't know what Littlefinger's like, I don't know how he kept, like, borrowing money from someone, but I don't think Tyrion's gonna have that same luxury. Yeah, probably not. Right. Right. Tyrion's gonna have a very short leash. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Uh, sorry for making a very uh, out of pocket joke. That's fairly bad taste. Maybe not making the best decisions. It is two seventeen. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us. This show is getting freaking crazy. This one was just so full of just shocking moments of just like just shock, man. So many crazy things happened. Well, whose claim so. are you supporting so far in the season? You know, dude. Like, here's the thing, guys. Like, if I'm gonna keep it a straight buck and like try to be a noble human then i could be like you know i support rob stock of the north and i want independence for winterfell <laughs> and i would like to see you know stannis baratheon ridden rid himself of the red woman and become a proper king for the for the realm but honestly guys i i really kind of just want to see hell i don't know man i just want to see joffrey rule i want to see him go tyrannical i want to see him and his mom mess junk up you want to see wanna chaos see, i want to see freaking chaos dude like i want to uh-uh. see this show fucking just fall apart sorry for cussing but i really do like no i want to see sansa and catelyn reunite i just realized watching this episode i've been sitting here rooting for like harmony and boringness like i want this junk to hit the freaking fan now because we just had so much shocking moments in this show that I just want more like that jumps crazy. And honestly, guys, let me just say real quick, man. And I know I've said it before, but the little kid who plays Joffrey and the lady who plays Cersei, like they are just so evil. And I'm really for it. Like, I really like Joffrey's character a lot. He's probably he's one of my favorite characters, but only well, because honestly, you love to this hate season, him. He's been chilling like he, he yeah, might have made a few like remarks, but you haven't seen him do anything crazy. But I think what Marjorie has a lot to do with that. Well, I'm hoping that like that whole little uncomfortable situation is about to just blow up because what I hope is going to happen. And what I'm sort of sensing is that Marjorie has this idea really similar to Jamie, right? I'm very clever. I'm smart. Right. I'm manipulative. I feel like that too. And right when she it's thinks that backfire. everything is in her pocket, dude, it's going to backfire. Right. I'm, I'm waiting for that to pop off too because I, I feel it. God, I didn't want to give too much away. I think that Joffrey's going to have to do something about grandma. I think grandma oh, talks too much. Shoot. I think she's got too much plans. I mean, I personally like grandma, but I'm saying on Joffrey's behalf, from his perspective, she definitely runs her mouth a lot. So. Yeah. And and when I was editing, I kind of noticed she's she was like, we have no business here, but here we are. Like what more? We have evil, no business here, but here we are. What more evil thing could you possibly think of than for Joffrey to murder his his future wife's grandmother behead her after he just done did that to us oh that's my prediction man you heard it here first that's a good one that's a good one if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't we've been right a lot we've been wrong a lot but if you've been following the series all the way through then you've probably tallied it up at this point and you probably <laughs> realize that i'm mostly right Ms. october is mostly wrong <laughs> and that's okay you know what i'm saying we're not here to compete but anyways guys uh, thank you so much for watching the video for real and see y'all in the next one